An 89-page report into sexual harassment at Russell McVeigh is damning not only of the incidents themselves, but of the response to them and the broader culture within the law firm that allowed for so little to initially be done in response to them. Dame Margaret Baisley's independent review into a series of incidents involving summer clerks in Wellington, that's university students doing basic work or work experience, who were plied with alcohol, then groped and harassed, and who then struggled for adequate support or to have their complaints rigorously investigated, does say the culture at the law firm has changed. But two and a half years ago, behaviour was completely inappropriate. Complaints were handled poorly, judgment was lacking, and the young women who'd been subjected to it all were intimidated, confused and uncomfortable. The review was released this morning. So as you're aware, Russell McVeigh asked me to review uh, claims that five summer clerks were sexually harassed over a three-week period in the summer of 2015-16 by a partner and solicitor from one team in the firm's Wellington office and it's important to understand it was just one team in the Wellington office. That was the starting point, as declared by Dame Margaret Baisley herself at the beginning of a media conference in the Wellington office she had just referred to. I was also asked to review any other incidents. Um, the firm's framework of policies, standards and systems and its culture. And what did she find after four months spent hearing from over 250 people? The firm has had a, a work hard, play hard culture that involved excessive drinking and in some instances crude, drunken and sexually inappropriate behaviour. Uh, young staff were encouraged to drink to excess. There were what Dame Margaret referred to as the incidents, elaborated on later in the media conference by her legal counsel, Simon Mount, beginning with what was called Incident 1, but was in fact a series of events over a short period. Uh, and just in broad terms, this was the series of four incidents that occurred at a, uh, a Wellington office Christmas party uh, shortly uh, before Christmas, December 2015. Uh, incident two uh, is uh, something that uh, was said to have occurred at the home of the partner concerned from the particular team uh, a couple of days after the, the firm-wide Christmas party. Uh, and then incident three uh, both of these are across the page on page 20. Uh, this was at a Wellington bar um, on the day that the firm returned after the Christmas holidays in 2016. So there were the incidents over Christmas, which in the first instance involved encouraging young summer clerks to drink, then groping them, including on the breasts, waist and hips. And then as Dame Margaret addressed as plainly and directly as anything she said this morning, there was Russell McVeigh's response. In reviewing the firm's response to the incidents, I found failings <coughs> in the firm's governance structure, the, in the governance structure, management, policies, standards and systems, and they lacked a code of conduct. And these failings contributed to the poor management of the students in 2015-16. I found there was no one in charge in the Wellington office the team where the incident happened was out of control and what was happening in that team was not noticed by uh, partners or the board. The board was there listening on in the person of its new chair, Malcolm Crotty, and when Dame Margaret finished, he picked up. The first thing I want to say on behalf of the firm is how profoundly sorry we are for the serious impact that the incidents over the summer of 2015 and 2016 have had on the young woman affected and indeed on our people. All findings were accepted, all recommendations adopted. I want to acknowledge that our handling of the incidents was poor and to apologise for both our actions and inactions. Inactions is an important addition to Russell McVeigh's acceptance of responsibility. If Dame Margaret's starting point has been, as we've heard her say, the actions of... Just one team in the Wellington office. It was what happened or didn't happen next that was found to speak to a larger cultural failing. After incident two, and I quote, no formal investigation followed. The firm then went on holiday for Christmas. In short, it was difficult for the young clerks to complain and, and again this is a quote from the report, there was no formal or informal follow-up with the clerk who had informed HR either at the time or after the Christmas break. And even when the young women were told the partner was leaving, and again I quote, 
It has only been very recently that the summer clerks involved in Incident 1 have learned that the partner left the firm for a number of reasons that were largely unrelated to their experiences. And then, when Newsroom broke the story in February, Russell McVeigh issued strong denials. So, the acknowledgement, acceptance, apologies and contrition that Russell McVeigh now freely offer and Dame Margaret accepts are meaningful, certainly weren't immediate. Here's Malcolm Crotty again. I also want to address the inaccurate statements that we made to the media earlier this year. Again, we take collective responsibility for those errors. We all believed that what we are saying at the time was correct. We now know that it was not. I want to acknowledge and apologise for this on behalf of the firm. The apologies flowed as the alcohol had and two and a half years on the buck stopped everywhere. I can tell you that we have taken collective responsibility for what has happened as a partnership and for the cultural change that you heard about that needs to occur at Russell McVeigh. There and elsewhere, said Dame Margaret. And as I mentioned, a recent survey of all lawyers by the New Zealand Law Society revealed that bullying and harassment are problems across the entire legal profession. And what of Russell McVeigh itself and their response to the events, reactions and non-reactions described? The firm has accepted my recommendations set out in the report and I believe with the leadership of the current board, which is a very different board to the one that was in place at the time of the incidents, uh, with the leadership of that board, I'm confident it is well placed for the changes um, ahead. The universal and the particular. Has the harassment stopped? Uh, so after the incident, incidents um, two and a half years ago, the firm moved decisively to address these issues and they be began to change the culture. And so two and a half years later, during my review, I was not told of any recent instances of sexual harassment. Dame Margaret Baisley, after six though, we will hear from a former lawyer who left the sector after suffering years of inappropriate sexual behaviour and who says this review is simply window dressing. Anne-Marie May will bring us that story in under an hour.